that there is a basic, there is a basic New World Order and Illuminati, if you will, which is primarily run by the Rothschild family. The Rothschild means red shield, which is, uh, all kinds of esoteric symbolism we could go into, which I don't have the time for. The Rothschilds financed Stalin and the takeover of Russia, the Bolshevik Revolution, 1917. They have financed the French Revolution. They financed World War II. They financed Hitler, and they were financing the U.S. So they, they believe in order out of chaos. You fund both sides of a war, and whichever side wins, you got their vote because you're their paymaster. You've given them their money. You control their financial supply, which means you can control the government. Okay? And you profit no matter what. Right. And also what happens is that the war stimulates the economy, so you get much more infrastructure and much more buildings coming out of it. That's why, for example, Ford Motor Company was building tank plants in Germany, which is why Hitler's Wehrmacht had the tanks. It was from Ford. When American bombers bombed Ford's tank plants in Germany, Ford personally repaid Hitler so he could rebuild the tank plants faster. Boeing actually was shipping, this has been documented, has, was shipping passenger airliners to South America, which were then sent to Africa, where they ripped the seats out and turned them into Hitler's bomber fleet. That was Boeing. These are American corporations. The whole idea of these big wars is a joke. It's a setup, it's a game that's played to play off the opposites against each other in the hopes of synthesizing a new world order where we all kind of synthesize. That's why Democrat and Republican is a joke. Okay? They want certain aspects of the conservative Republican Party. They want, for example, the, the uh, cultish religious aspect, but it's not Christianity. That's why the liberal side is all about being open and being free and, and not having any of these traditional shackles on you. Because what they ultimately want is a racist society. They're very racist. And they're interested in a new world order which is run by a Luciferian philosophy. Now, this is very disturbing sounding stuff. But they actually believe that since they have the secret tradition that goes back to Atlantis, and that they've been persecuted for thousands and thousands of years by various people. Nobody persecuted them as badly as the Roman government through the Catholic Christian Church. They were tortured, they were killed, so they came to the natural conclusion, you can understand anybody would have done this under the circumstances. What do you think they would choose? They would say, okay, whatever God these guys think is God, that's not the right one, because he's, he's stringing us out on the rack, he's torturing us, he's killing us. Therefore, whoever the Christian church says is the bad guy is the good guy. Okay, wait a minute. Lucifer is the brightest light, the brightest angel in heaven, right? And he's the one that got tossed out of heaven. Well, maybe he got tossed out of heaven because he was too cool, right? Because, because everybody else in there was a bunch of corrupt shysters. Well, this is actually what the most powerful people in the world think. And they are a fundamentalist religion just like any of the others. They still believe this weird stuff. They follow these teachings. They actually buy into this. Okay, So that's why it's weird because you see these political parties that are siding with religious fundamentalist Christianity, and they actually do have a fundamentalist religion, but it's the mirror opposite. So their energy vibrates with each other, and that's why they work together so well. Don't forget, of course, that Hitler was also running on a Christian platform. And who was Hitler's main ally in World War II in Europe? Italy. Italy is the Vatican. The Pope and all that stuff was supporting Nazi Germany, okay? Because it was in the Vatican, which was in Italy, which was Mussolini. So, the reason why I'm telling you all this is not for you to have a fatalistic sense of doom. It's to also enlighten you to the fact that this is going on, that it's real, and that the Nazis were very, very proactive in rebuilding all of the ancient secrets that had been lost. Because for the first time, they had a world power government that could go out and militarily by force invade places that were being kept under lock and key with heavy guard and go in and steal the artifacts and the technologies that would allow them to rebuild their so-called master race and all this stuff that they're so into. Okay. What's that? Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark, exactly. So, 
What do you think happens when a UFO crashes in, in World War II and the people who financed Nazi Germany, once it collapsed, they're looking for as much technology, as much goodies as they can get their hands on. So what do you think they're going to do when these UFOs crash? They're going to want to rip out everything from those UFOs imaginable and reverse engineer it and make it into something they can use. So what's the first thing that they go for? They take out the chair. Because these UFOs, you're sitting there in the chair and you say you want to go somewhere, you meditate on it, and a vortex opens up in front of the ship and you fly through it and you pop through a wormhole and you end up somewhere else. Okay? So that's what the chair does. The chair is the interface with your consciousness. So when you understand that your consciousness is interfacing through the chair, that helps you get to a point in yourself where you can see that the chair is a psychic amplifier. That's what it does. The chair's function is that it takes your natural, innate psychic function and makes it vastly more powerful. Oh, the Philadelphia experiment uh, was uh, the result of the testing of high energy arc welding on the creation of very large battleships by the U.S. Navy in World War II uh, surrounding Norfolk Naval Air Force Base, which I used to be right near in Virginia Beach. What they found was that when you got this, uh, this high energy, this was the highest arc welding ever done, like a big bolt of lightning. And it pinched time space into space time. So you get this black hole in the room. And then, actually, they were having tools disappear. So the tools never came back, and they realized there's something here we can use, and they actually designed it into something that they put on the ship in the hopes that the ship would be able to be invisible, like the tools became invisible. What they didn't realize is that they were going to jump from one place to another, and it had a devastating effect on the crew. Anyway, uh, I don't want to spend all of our time just going through this old material, so we're going to get back to the chair.